hello lovely people welcome to my channel once again if you're new here my name is Tsungi right if you are from Zimbabwe Makadini welcome to my channel right uh, so in today's video you guys I'm going to show you how to do this cross stitch it's actually a cross stitch and I'll show you how to make it and I'll show you how to make this pledge playmate it's so easy you guys so again with this um, with this plate mat or with this pattern I was thinking if you like you can make also make it bigger you don't have to make it small like this but if you like it as a plate mat you can keep it as small as this so I'll show you how to make this uh, plate mat yeah so thank you so much for watching my videos if you like what I do please do subscribe please do subscribe oh my god okay if you're wondering what I'm wearing if you check my other videos we made this uh, necklace in my previous videos I've just decided that I am going to start to wear some of the things that I make so that you guys can see what it looks like when it's on a person right so this is um, one of the necklaces that I made previously in the past yeah so you can check that tutorial I'll actually put a link in this video somewhere so that you can see how uh, you make that necklace all right thank you so much let me just get right into the video okay so like I said in the intro I'll show you how I made this uh, plate mat here show you up close okay so it's very simple Again, I'm using baby soft yarn and I'm doubling it. You need a size 6 millimeter hook, a comb and a scissors. Right, so let's just start. So to start, I'm going to do a slip knot. So I'm going to take my two yarns. Take your yarn, wrap it on your finger, form an X like this and wrap it. It just falls the other side. Then join it here. So you have an X here and you've got two parallel lines on the other side. You're going to take the one that's in front here and you're going to move it to the back like this. Then hold it in place and hold on to the one that's now in front. Release your fingers, then pull. Like this. Put your hook inside and adjust it to your hook like this. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to chain 21. So I'm going to let my yarn hang on this finger and just hold it in place to this one. This is how I hold by uh, when I'm crocheting. I'm just moving forward, going up, turning my hook to face down and moving backwards. That is how I chain. That is chaining. So I've just won one. I'm going to repeat the same set. Forwards, up, turn my hook to face down and move backwards. Right. I'm going to do the rest of camera. So I'm um, chaining 21 right so i've just changed 21 i'm going to start in the second stitch here so i'm going to insert my hook into that stitch this v that's my stitch insert my hook in there right so when we're doing a normal single crochet we hook our hook with our hook facing up but this time we're going to make our hook to face down and we're going to hook our um, hook from the bottom like this and it comes out then you sort of like pull you have two loops you're going to grab your yarn and pass through your yarn through both those two loops like that i'm going to go into the next v or the next stitch insert my hook right i'm going to make my hook sure that my hook is facing down and i'm just going to grab my yarn with my hook facing down so hook on top yarn at the bottom then i'm going to grab my yarn pass it through sort of pull a little bit you have two loops grab your yarn and pass your yarn through both those two loops and that is how we're do, doing the cross stitch so insert your hook into the next stitch grab your hood your your yarn pass it through like this so this is what I'm going to be doing and it's creating uh, X's I'm going to do that all the way until I get to the end if you want to do this uh, pattern for a bigger mat then you can chain more uh, stitches so I'm going to do all the way to the end and I come back all right so I've reached the end of this line so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my scissors I'm just going to cut like this so when I cut I'm just going to grab some of that yarn that cut yarn and pass it through this loop like this and i'll just pull everything so that's what that's what you're going to do for the first line for the second line we're going to take a new yarn right 
So we need to attach this new yarn. So I'm going to go into the first stitch here. Put my hook under that first stitch. I'm going to leave some of the yarn just hanging. Then I'm going to attach this yarn. So I'm going to grab that yarn. Go with it under those two loops. And I'm going to just chain one. So this is how I'm attaching my yarn. After that, I'm going to go into the first, the same stitch. Insert my hook in there. Remember, hook facing down. I'm going to grab my yarn. Come out with it. Now, I have two loops. So I'm going to grab yarn again and pass my yarn through both these two loops. One, two. Like this. I'm going to go into the next stitch, which is this, uh, this V here. I'm going to insert my hook under that v right i'm going to grab my yarn hook facing down grab my yarn come out with it so that i have two loops like this grab my yarn and pass that yarn through both these two loops like this right i'm going to continue to do that until i get to the end of the what of the line so that is what i'm doing and when i get to the end of the line i'm going to repeat what i did here cutting my yarn and just uh, cutting my end. Okay, let me just quickly do this row. Let me just do one more. Insert your hook into that stitch or under that loop. Grab your yarn with your hook facing down like this. Grab your yarn. Come out with it so that you have two loops like this. Grab your yarn again and pass that yarn through both these two loops like this. One, two. Right. So let me quickly do this until I get to the end and I'll show you how we end again. I'm now at the end of this line again. I'm just going to cut my yarn. Right. So after I cut my yarn, I'm just going to grab that cut yarn like this. And I'm just going to pass it through this loop like this. And I pull. And that is how I end um, that line. So if you want to do this plate mat like me, sorry, like me, you're going to do nine rows of the same color of this baby pink. Then you're going to do five rows of this dark pink and nine rows of that uh, baby pink then i'll show you how i'm going to tie the ends so i've done a small one here i just want to show you how, what i do now with the ends so with my hook hold on right so with this one you can clearly see that i've done four rows one two three four so i want four logos ends this is one, this one was the one that we did when we did the slip knot, right? So we have four. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in these holes here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to take some yarn that I've just cut, insert my hook into that hole, into that hole, grab the yarn and pass it through so that it passes through both ends like this. Right, so I'm going to grab the new yarn plus the yarn that was already there and I'm going to make a simple knot like this right I'm going to grab my hook again go into the second uh, hole here grab some yarn Pass it through. This is the yarn. Pass it through. I'm going to take that yarn and the yarn that was already there. And tie that into a simple knot. So that's what you're going to do for both sides. So let me quickly do this one side. Then I will show you what I'll do at the end i have uh what you call it tied the four ends like this i'm just going to cut it it's up to you where you want to cut it just try to make it straight like this then i'm going to take my comb and just comb it out Again, if it's not straight, then you just cut it 
so that it's the same size. And that's it you guys that's it that's what you do to get this uh what you call it this mat here right thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed uh this tutorial this is um something that i just did um i didn't plan for it or it was something to distress so i didn't want to make another one because this color it doesn't really go with the color in my house so I didn't want to make a lot, but since I made it and I liked it, I just decided to share it with you guys. Yeah, so if you like it, you can make it in the color palettes that you like. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Thank you so much. See me, see you in my next uh, tutorial. Okay, bye-bye.